There are people making over 20 lakh per year as an AI engineer in India. And if you want to get started in 2024, here are the best 10 courses that you can enroll for completely free and become an AI engineer. I've divided these 10 into three different categories, the beginner, the intermediate and the advanced courses. I will also talk about what can you learn from each course and why is this one important. But before we talk about the 10 AI courses, let's talk about the prerequisite. Yes, you do need some prerequisite. The first thing is maths. The second thing is a language to code. And lastly is understand about data analysis. First thing is mathematics. No, I'm not talking about solving really long questions that can be handled by the computer. What you need to focus on is understanding the basics of matrix multiplication, linear algebra. You need to learn about the basics of calculus. How does integration happen? What is the differentiation and how do you calculate the area under the curve? Basics, right? You don't have to solve it yourself, but you have to understand what these things really mean because it will be important when you start building models of your own. There is an amazing playlist on YouTube, which is catered towards machine learning. All the maths you need to learn about machine learning is in that one video. So go have a look at that and that will give you the basic head start into the world of mathematics for machine learning. That is the first thing. Secondly, you have to master Python. Now, there are other languages as well that you can use like JavaScript or, or others, but Python is the most popular language that people use for creating machine learning models. And if you want to learn about Python, there is an amazing playlist on Tech with Tim's YouTube channel, which I personally use to learn about Python. And that will give you a very basic understanding of how to use basic data types, what are conditionals, what are, you know, functions and for loops and how do you create basic objects and how do you create classes. So that is a great starting point for you all. Again, completely free. You can also have a look at Python for everybody. It's a course available on Coursera if you are interested. That will also give you a good start. But now you know a language and now you have a basic idea of mathematics. The next step is learning about data analysis. So what is machine learning? It's all about taking in data and predicting data in the future. So for that, you need to learn how do you use data particularly. There are three packages or libraries in Python that you have to manage and learn about. The first one is NumPy, then you have matplotlib and you also have pandas. NumPy will help you take data and organize it into arrays and lists. The second thing is pandas, which will basically help you to organize that data into tables and then query that data. So that is the third thing. The fourth thing at the end is matplotlib. And that is how you'll be able to visualize your results. So it could be a line chart. It could be a bar chart. It could be a pie chart. Anything that you want to represent, you can do it very simply with the help of matplotlib. So these three libraries are really important for you to understand before we even talk about the AI courses. So have a look at these three libraries. There is a YouTube video on Free Code Camps channel, which is talking about NumPy, Matplotlib and Pandas. I'll link it in the description of this video. Go have a look at it. And now once you've learned all these three topics, you can now very easily start learning about AI. And let's start with the first course. And this is to understand the basics of ChatGPT and generative AI. Now in the beginners category, the first course to check out is generative AI for everyone. This course on Coursera will give you the basic idea of what generative AI is is how are large language models working and what can you actually do by applying generative AI in your own life. So this is a very simple three week course. You can audit it for free on Coursera. You'll also learn about the basics of building generative AI projects and what are the steps involved in every single one of them. And the course ends with talking about how businesses and the society can get value from generative AI. It also talks about the various problems of AI and what it cannot really do. And this is a great starting point for you. The next course is from Microsoft available on LinkedIn and this one is career essentials for generative AI. Now this course is amazing because it talks about how can you use generative AI tools like 365 Copilot and apply it on to your daily tasks. So for example, if you're making a spreadsheet, if you are making a simple doc, if you are doing the normal things you will do in your corporate work, how can you optimize it? How can you save time? How can you use generative AI in your workflow is what they talk about in that complete course. It's very simple to the point. I think it's about two to three hour long course. And this will give you the basic idea for how do you apply things, right? It's one thing to 
see how it works. It's another to see how can you apply it into your own workflow. It's a great course if you're already working somewhere and you want to see how can you cut your time in doing whatever tasks that you have to do throughout the day. So go have a look at this course by Microsoft on generative AI on LinkedIn. Now, the third course is amazing because this one is taught by Andrew Ng and it is available on Deep Learning AI website. This one is called Chat GPT Prompt Engineering. Now, this is a very short course which talks about how can you write prompts. It shares a lot of tips and tricks that you can employ to write better prompts and get better answers. You have to understand that everyone has access to ChatGPT. What differentiates you from everyone else is the prompts you are typing. And that is why you need to take this course. It talks about if you're trying to find an answer to a question, if you are looking for some advice, if you're looking for some feedback, if you're looking for anything from ChatGPT, what is the right way to ask chat GPT or any other large language model. So go have a look at this course. It's available on deep learning AI. By the way, the description will have links to all the courses that you can check out and buy for your own self. These three were the beginner level courses. So now you have a basic understanding of what generative AI is. You basically know what chat GPT is, how to write prompts on chat GPT. Now let's dig deeper into the world of generative AI and LLMs, large language models. And the first course that I have in the intermediate list is this one from Andrew Ng available on Coursera called as Machine Learning by Stanford. Now this course has an in-depth guide on how can you build these models from scratch. So it basically gives you an idea of what it takes to build a AI model from scratch. So you will learn everything from supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, reinforcement learning. You'll have a look at both regression problems and classification problems, and you'll have a better understanding for what goes on inside of each of these models. So do take a look at this course. It's available on Coursera. You have to audit the course. There will be an option to audit it when you will click on get this for free or enroll in this course. And that is a great way for you to get access to this one. Again, it's a very important course. It's also the most popular course out there in the field of machine learning. So you have to take a look at this. The next course is by CS50. So Harvard has this course called as CS50 available publicly to anyone around the world. It is an amazing way for you to get a basic understanding of AI. The course is particularly called CS50 AI. And this course goes into depths of the concepts that you need to understand, like neural networks, like multi-layer perceptrons, like back propagation. So you'll have a basic understanding of how do you create an algorithm and how does a model learn to detect patterns in machine learning. And that will give you a deeper understanding of how everything works. They explain it in very simple terms and you will be able to understand everything. It is about 12 hours long and it takes you from the very basics of learning and uncertainty all the way up to giving you an idea of how neural networks operate. So have a look at this second course. Now, talking about the final course, this one is Google's nine course long learning path called as Introduction to Generative AI. Now this is an amazing place where you can understand how can you use the Google suite of generative AI tools to build apps yourself. This course will give you the basic idea of how transformers operate, what are BERT models, and you will also understand how image generation happens with the help of neural networks. So while in the beginner mode, you are understanding what can you do with these AI models and large language models, with the intermediate courses, you understand what is happening behind the scenes, under the hood. And once you understand that, we can now finally go into the advanced part in which there will be four courses which will teach you how can you build your own AI models, right? If you're excited about that, hit the like button. But let's talk about these four courses. The first one is again available on Deep Learning AI site. And this one is called Building Systems with Chat GPT API. Now, the easiest thing you can do right now is to take the OpenAI's API for Chat GPT and plug it into your own app. So instead of you having a preferred, you know, backend and, and database and everything, you can simply have an API endpoint, attach it with the API and you can get responses on your front end itself generated from the query you sent to the chat GPT API place. So this is a very simple method. It will teach you exactly how can you build a simple app which relies on the chat GPT API. So with this, you will understand the basics of that API and how can you build apps with it. And the cherry on the cake, the instructor is actually from OpenAI. So they will be sharing the best practices that you can use to use the chat GPT API. That is the first course you can use. Another course 
on the deep learning AI side itself is using Langchain to build LLM applications, right? Now this course is how you will learn to build real world large language model apps. So what is Langchain? Langchain basically enables you to build generative AI applications very easily. So you will be learning about how to use it to build generative AI applications fast. You will basically be able to train LLMs on your own personal data and create particular chatbots, which can only answer queries based on the data that they've been fed. So that is a great way for you to get started with building generative AI apps. Now, the third course you need to check out is building AI apps with the help of Gradio. What is Gradio? If you have learned Python yourself, then this course will make a lot of sense because Gradio works on Python repositories. So basically what you do with Gradio is you would be able to deploy and run any ML model that you've created. So you'll be able to generate a very simple generative AI you know, app in a few minutes with just a few lines of text and code. So this is again a great way for you to get started with building generative AIs from scratch with the help of Gradio. The last course you can check out, which is on NLP, Natural Language Processing, is by Hugging Face. Now on Hugging Face, you can understand how do these large language models actually work. And with that, you will have a deeper understanding of how can you use these models to build new apps yourself, right? So again, all these apps are linked in the description of this video. Everything from the beginner to intermediate to advanced level, I think you should take all of these courses, learn from them and start building something of your own. Tell me in the comment section, which is your favorite course from all of these. I would love to read all of them. If you're still watching this video, write in the comment section, I watched till the very end. Thank you very much. You can share this video with your friend. You can tag me on social media by clicking a screenshot. And my at the rate is Ishan Sharma 7390. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. I have an in-depth AI roadmap. If you want to learn more, it would be over here or somewhere here. And that will give you a basic understanding of how can you become an AI engineer? Like what do you need to learn? And what are some tips that you need to keep in mind for becoming an AI engineer in 2024? So have a look at that. I'll see you in the next video.